They're written in a different language. They're set up differently. But the same idea of taking the user input, interacting with the database, processing, putting everything together, and creating an HTML page holds true regardless of the technology that you're in. All right? What I'd like to do with the last 10 minutes or so is take a quick tour of Visual Studio. All right? A few terminology things to be clear on. ASP.NET is not a programming language. ASP.NET is Microsoft's set of technologies to provide dynamic server-side web pages, websites. It's a framework. What's a framework? A framework is sort of gives you a head start on things. So rather than having to build everything from scratch, the ASP.NET platform gives you some components, all right, that you can build your app for, uh, app with, uh, or web application with. You know, it is moving software to be more of a uh, engineering process than a craftsman sort of thing. You know? Back in the old days, programmers would like craft a solution would custom craft every aspect of it, you know. And the problem with that is it's a very time consuming and error prone sort of process. Instead, if you can build the app with components, then you can guarantee a lot more consistency and accuracy and speed. So that's what ASP.NET is. And we'll come back and we'll review these. Now ASP.NET uh, can run uh, the language that the scripts are written in within the ASP.NET platform can be written in a variety of languages, most notably C Sharp and VB.NET. So .NET is the framework, the platform, the set of components. The language to manipulate those components can either be VB or C Sharp. Finally, Visual Studio is an IDE or integrated development environment that sort of helps you out. Now, if you've had me for 2.16, you know that I usually don't use GUI development tools, you know, or even if you have me for Java class. For the most part, I will, you know, we write the code by hand. But the .NET framework is so big of a framework that I think it, I think the benefits of using an IDE are, are really clear. Um, we'll try to make sure that we spend time to actually look at the code and not blindly follow whatever code uh, it wants to generate for us. All right, let's talk about the first assignment. In the first assignment, I'm asking you to find some resources about several different topics, and those topics are sort of the main topics of the class. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. Let me pull up Angel real quick. ASP.NET, Database Design, and SQL. So I want you to find a page that could be used by students of this class to like define these terms and, and uh, get resources. But I want you to develop this using um, Visual Studio. All right? So how do you do that? Let's fire up Visual Studio. Go in, 
under File, New, and I'm going to pick Website. All right. So File, New, Website. And I'll click on that. It will then ask me where I want to create that website. And you have choices. You can actually put it out on an external web server, or you can just create it in local files. And that's what we'll be doing in this class. So you'll specify that you want to create um, this in um, somewhere on, on your hard drive. So you'll go and I'll click Browse, and I will pick where I want to create it. I'll create it for just simplicity on the desktop. And I will call it, you know, resources. Um, and then I'll click open. And I will click that I want to create an empty website. We'll go over uh, creating an ASP.NET website later on. That does some of the work for you. But for this example, I want to start simple and just create an empty website. Okay, I do that. And click OK. And it will go and it will create that folder for me. Wherever I said to put it. And if I look inside that folder, there is a web config file. All right. This is a file that, again, you know, in future classes we'll discuss the purpose of it and some of the things in it and so on. And um, we will, um, you know, we'll cover this in more detail. But just know that it's a configuration file that's necessary for .NET to run correctly. Now the folder that your web config file is in, I will call the application root folder. So this is the resources folder. That's where the web config file lives, so that is your application's root folder. All right. I'm going to go here now and click File, oops, New, File, and I'm going to pick C Sharp, even though we're not going to do any code. Um, C sharp code for it, yeah. And I will pick that I'm going to do a web form. Alright. And I will make sure that place code in a separate file is checked. And we'll talk about why that is in future classes. I then click add. And I get a default page. And I can view it a couple different ways. I can view it in this source code view, which shows me the code, all right? Or I can go into design view where I can drag and drop things around. For this assignment, we're going to avoid that. I want you to, to code it uh, custom by hand. So you go to here, and you can just put in your HTML. So you can put in an H1 for... Zeller's Dynamic Website Resources. H2 ASB.net. And then I can Underneath it, write a paragraph explaining what .NET is, create the links, and so on and so forth. All right. I can save it. I can go in and run it simply by clicking the little debug thing. And what it will actually do is it will create a little development web server for you, and you can view your pages through that. So if I click debug, it does its thing. And it will open up a development web server and show me my page. All right, there we go. All right. 
You can do everything you've done in CISS 216. You can create style sheet files, you can create all that and do it. So that's what I expect for the first assignment. Now, this is important. When you are done, close out of here, you need to zip up and sand the whole resources folder, the whole application use folder. So you need to zip it up and send it. If you didn't finish it one day and you're coming back the next, you would go to Visual Studio. Go to File, Open, Website, and then you pick that directory that it's in. You always need to pick the directory whether, you know, when you're creating it, when you're zipping it up, whether you're reopening it, create the directory or, or use a directory that the web config file lives in. I can open it up and I'm back to where I can go and edit this and do more things to it. I want you to start taking steps to understanding how Visual Studio works by doing the first assignment using Visual Studio. All right. Okay, that's all I had for today. Uh, yes? Can you explain how to uh, get on all the free versions of, of this? Uh-huh. Um, for the most four years old, will it still work? Uh, you could try it. Um, I know in the past they've sold uh, a full-blown copy of Visual Studio in the Business Division office for like 20 bucks or something. You could check that. You could also check... Uh, uh, Dream Sparks, but I know that they've changed the policy for that. But check in the uh, check in the business office to see, see if it's available. Other questions? Yes. Oh, no. 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 Uh, my suggestion would be to use Boot Camp to do a dual boot or use something like Parallels or VMware to create a virtual Windows machine and run it that way. Other questions? Yes? Um, did you start that out first by selecting base, Visual Basic? I did not select Visual Basic. It was defaulted to Visual Basic. Okay. And then I went in and changed it. C -sharp. So you started out. What, why, why the two? Because you created the resources file of Visual Basic and selected. Did that have anything? When, when I first started it out, there was a choice of what files to use. So let's go and create a new one. I could go to Files, New, Website. And over there, I can select whether it's going to be a VB project or a Visual uh, a C Sharp project. Makes sense. <laughs> Just pick C sharp when you create the project, and then when you do that, when you create a new file, I'm going to pick C sharp for that too. Okay, we'll see you over in lab. Um, is anyone going to lab today? Okay, all right. I'll go and unlock the lab, then I'll come and finish up the grabbing the files for the video and, and so on.